A once boarded up storefront is now a source of great pride for residents of the Chatham neighborhood. Aaron McElroy has that story. This corner shop at 79th and Evans sat for years. Its windows covered in boards after a fatal drive by shooting. Today, sun pours in on the brand new windows of the transformed space full of merchandise handcrafted by talented Chatham artisans. We are in the community of Chatham. The buildings are just beautiful terracotta buildings that were built in the 1920s. We were looking at a way that we could make this space be open to the community and also um, nurture the many creatives that we have in the neighborhood. Through a $200,000 grant from the city and the vision of the Greater Chatham Initiative, Mahalia's Gifts was born. We thought that I was going to have a place to paint and then that was it, but it's been so much, so much more than that. An inviting brick and mortar storefront for artists to work, collaborate, and sell their goods. From my peony collection, peony rose collection, I have luminous dewy hydromist for moms, for artisans, for the community to be able to have a place to go to, um, to just be able to have access to like a lot of handmade, like a lot of things that were created like out of love. Miles is one of 25 vendors whose wares now grace the sunlit shelves. I also have turmeric mint soap, which is great for hyperpigmentation um, in the skin. Um, my three-year-old makes the oatmeal honey soap. So you make that soap with your mama? Yes. Yeah? It's really great. Whether it's cards or clothing or jewelry, um, coloring books, that um, creatives have a way to get their products to market. They always say, hey, this looks like my daughter. This looks like my cousin. This looks like somebody. And it just shows them that you can be whoever you want to be. And we're all beautiful no matter what color we are. I am a children's book author. My series is I Need You to Know. It is two coloring books, a girl's coloring book and a boy's coloring book and a hardcover book. Right now we have 25 vendors that sell 300 items. I make all of my own natural uh, hair products. Um, I do hair grease, uh, flaxseed gel. We plan to double that um, by this coming summer and double that again. It feels very good, like just when I get a customer who's like, hey, my hair is growing back, or hey, my skin is getting better, I'm just like, uh, that is like the the prize in itself for me. Um, it really feels good just to know that people are using the products and using them consistently just to see results. Sometimes I wonder why good fortune always. On the wall, the matriarch who inspired it all. Mahalia Jackson, she lived not far from here. She's at 84th in Indiana. Not only was she this fabulous singer um, from the 20th century that was world renowned, she had a flower shop, she had a beauty shop, and so she was the quintessential modern woman, you know, able to do uh, lots of things simultaneously, and so we felt it just made sense to call this Mahalia. It's been uh, you know, new friends, new opportunities. It's great to be in a community with other artists um, and then just have support from the Greater Chatham Initiative. You are my heart, my soul, my peace after a long day. My heart and soul goes into creating every single card that I create. And so to see someone like pick it up, pick up a card, look at it, and just read it and then we're like, oh, you know, it warms my heart. Mahalia's gifts reviving the rich history of a community rooted in art. People seeing people that look like them, um, you know, being creatives, right? And, and selling their art. And that's really what it's about to me. <laughs> Highly recommend you check it out. Mahalia's gifts is open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to seven. We'll post a link to their online store and the exact address for you on WGNTV.com. Aaron McElroy, WGN News. Great old